Hello everyone again. Uh, this video is going to talk about a story uh, here in the Aston area about a newspaper that has gone nuts. If you haven't read the story, what has happened is the former editor and the current chairman of the Aston Star, uh, Mr. Ayers, decided to spank women back in the 1970s. Like, and, the, and the doctor that was Ayers' position said it was okay to spank women. Who who doctor was this? So it's it's okay to arrest women so they can prove their mental health. What world do we live in? <laughs> oh my gosh. That, 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 that's, that's the most ridiculous thing I have heard in a long time. No, spanking women does not improve their mental and physical health. It harms them instead. So apparently back in the 1970s, there was two women I've read. One that worked for the star that got spanked. Mm. And this story has been hidden for over 30 years. And last November, while the Roy Moore campaign thing was going on, Another reporter in the state of Alabama discovered this and reported on it on another website. And apparently the Ansa Star wanted to keep the story buried. One of the reporters found this story from that other reporter and they wanted to investigate it. And the current editors and people who run the Ansa Star said, let's just sweep it, sweep it under the rug. Let's never disclose this. So the, that reporter quit. He, he left. He, 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 he left that job. Now he's working for a plumbing supply company as a clerk. <sighs> oh my gosh. And now the Azastar has come clean about this. And they have no choice because it's all over the web now. So, Mr. Ayers, why haven't you resigned yet as chairman? You need to leave the Azastar and all its papers, Casaldan Publishing, forever. You need to get out of it. Because all you're doing, all you're doing is causing all the other people who call you the red star to quit describing you now they're calling the advertisers that support the paper and telling them not to support the paper anymore not advertising the as a star i don't blame them for people to do this as a star you've had some problems in the last few years and now it's grown 10 times worse for you you live in calhoun county you live in alabama calhoun county is very conservative we supported donald trump by a big margin so you keep writing your own editorials and run these bumper sticker pictures and all that, not supporting, trashing Roy Moore or Donald Trump or the Republicans. Yeah, I didn't support Roy Moore either. Okay, I admit that. A lot of people didn't support him. But you, you, you constantly support people on the... You, I'm just going to rephrase that. You constantly, continuously trash people on the right where most people in County County are support the right. That is one of the worst business models I have ever seen of any newspaper. Alright? So why aren't you supporting people, Republicans in this state house? Or in Congress? Alright? You can't continue to keep trashing people on the right. You're losing subscribers. People trash you on your Facebook and Twitter feeds, which they do every day. And now, with this sexual allegation claim from the person who was the editor of the Anza Star back in the 70s and is the chairman of the board so it pretty much runs the whole newspaper how's that gonna go around mmm you know and for me I'm out walking around for miles sometimes to go cover certain events that you the Anza Star refuses not to doesn't cover like the Oxford Christmas Parade Christmas activities I mean, I could go on and on. I've done more videos, more Instagram, more Instagram photos, more social media posts than you have. It's supporting the local community. All and most, a lot of your social media posts are either sports or where I'm trusting certain politicians that most people around here support. So I, I propose this is a good time for the Anza Star to change its ways. No more trashing people on the right. Kill off the editorial page. Just, just no more editorials. I would, need, I would kill a lot of people to keep right doing speak out. You know, people can write to the paper. You can keep doing that, but no more editorials for people working at Star or other newspapers. Just quit it. That's a good first step right there. Second, get rid of those bumper sticker pictures you put out every day. 
Third, how about more community coverage? How about more videos, more pictures, more social media posts, especially on Instagram? You have barely updated that. Yet you're all not doing a good enough job. You keep losing subscribers. You, you're now going to have advertisers boycotting you because of these sexual allegations of spanking women. And this newspaper's in deep trouble. I have heard of some bad things about the Star from other people in this community. Hey, hey Star, I, I can help fix it. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here on Social Security Disability. I can help you change things. But I wonder if I should help you out. Because y'all y'all refuse to change. I, 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 I can't. I can't help people that refuse, that just don't want to change themselves. So quit the editorials, quit the bumper stickers, more community coverage, more social media, more videos, more coverage. Because, oh, by the way, I can still get around your paywall. Yeah, you, you know, paywall, you know, you've done a hard paywall. I get around that. I don't pay to that star. And I should show people how to do that. It's not hard. <laughs> so how about you... You get Ayers out of the company, and you do more community coverage, more social media, more videos, and quit trashing politicians and politics. It's plain and simple. That's what you've got to do. You're in conservative Alabama, not liberal New York. you got to think about your demographics for a second. Like your other newspaper down in Talladega County, the Daily Home, there's a competitor called Sulacaga News now. And they're doing a good job. They're doing a pretty good job with their coverage. And they have no paywall. So I, I also kill off the paywall. And maybe you wouldn't need a paywall if you could, if you wouldn't trash certain politicians and ignore people in this community. It's like that little TV station in Oxford that I used to help out and run their social media until I got pushed out the door and never got paid. Media in Calvin County is very corrupt right now. It, it's an embarrassment. All right, the little guys like me, Geek Alabama or Cowan County Insight, are not going to be able to keep up with coverage of the As a Star TV Twenty Four. That little TV station left left, and that both TV Twenty Four and the As a Star need a bunch of improvements and fast. So I, I'm wondering, should I even bother helping them? If they call contacting me, or should I just prepare my move out of Cowan County to somewhere else, like a lot of our people have already done? So you pushed out a good reporter that's now working in a plumbing supply company because you wanted to hush-hush on a story. Unbelievable. There's my rant. As a star, I hope you improve, and I, but I'm not holding my breath that you will. Thanks for watching.